steelhead grind is real. We were supposed to be in Louisiana. Unfortunately, due to some bad weather, we had to cancel our trip. It wasn't worth going. It's looking like rain and high winds every single day. So we made the call to cancel our Louisiana trip. So we're hopping in the van. Instead, we're going to Idaho to go chase some steelies. It's totally fine because we can actually bring Tally on this trip. And we love Tally. So we're gonna hop in the van and hit the road. First stop of the trip, hot springs. We've never been to a natural hot springs before, so here we are. Very exciting. It's actually literally perfect. It actually feels pretty good. It does. This rocks like a pillow. Hot springing was nice. Surprisingly better than we thought it would be. We kept passing people that were saying that it was going to be all crowded and stuff. We didn't feel that way. So, super refreshing. Great way to start our adventure. Now it's time to head to a campsite, get some Z's, and then hit the river. Got in pretty late last night. It was pitch black dark. We had no idea where to go or where to camp, so we just parked right on the road next to the river. Total renegade camping. It worked out. No one ever knocked on our door and told us to leave. Wow, this river's looking sweet though. Beautiful morning. It's really not that cold. It's a lot warmer than Montana. So we can eat some breakfast. Maybe hit a shop, get some flies. We found a spot. Looks like pretty decent water. I have no idea. Never fished here. Neither is Erica. We got our steelhead fishing licenses. We hit we hit a tackle shop. They didn't have any flies, so we're just gonna use what we got. Same stuff we were fishing on the d probably. And just hope something happens. We literally have no idea. So we're gonna rig up our rods and fish this beautiful river right here. It's a little tough because it's super foggy and we've never been here and this is like the only spot that it's not foggy. We can actually see the river. So we're just trying to figure it out. pretty good on this run here kind of an inside bend looks like steelhead water to me I have no idea no idea
Fish on. Babe. Oh my God. Holy It's gotta be a steelhead. I haven't seen it yet. Oh my God. Steelhead. The steelhead. All right, we got it. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's insane. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the fish in the water. It's in my bag. Um, it's got the cover on. Oh my goodness, it's big. Oh, oh it got away. It got away? It's all right. We got, I got iPhone shots. That was insane. Thankfully, air goes here. Didn't get a great shot of it. We were trying to dick around with the camera and the fish got away, which is normal. Fish tend to be camera shy, but wow. Unbelievable. It was a hatchery fish, you could tell because the adipose fin was cut off, but extremely beautiful. We already caught a steelhead. Flies working. Well, kind of in disbelief still that caught a steelhead right off the bat. I don't know if I should quit now or what. We're gonna pop open a little beer here in celebration of steelhead number one. Cheers. Cheers. We've been fishing hard all day. I went a little too deep, got lost in the sauce, got some water in my waders. So Rico's done for the day. I think we're gonna call it. We definitely need flies. The, the, the fly that I caught my steelhead on was a trout fly. So it's working, it's for sure. But when you're spending all day trying to catch one fish, kind of want to just be fishing the right flies. So I think our best option right now is call it. We've been fishing hard all day. Hit the fly shop, get the stuff we need before they close, and then get an early start tomorrow morning. Well, it's a chilly morning. Just woke up. Sun's just coming out. There's still some fog around. About to grab the rod and hit the river here soon after a cup of coffee. One of the main reasons I recently caught the steelhead bug is the fact that I don't know what the future holds for these fish. The widespread decline of this species of anadromous rainbow trout has me thinking 
that if I ever want to catch them, the time is now. Maybe the future for these fish is brighter than we think. Maybe people will start taking better care of the world. There are no guarantees in life, just as there are no guarantees in fishing. I'm just happy to be standing in the river with a fly rod in my hand. It's tough, you know, with steelhead, you don't get much feedback when you're fishing. You're just kind of casting out there and hoping for something. And that's kind of how I feel right now. Just covering water, trying to find spots and hoping I'm fishing in the right water and hopefully there's fish there. I really have no idea. Feel like I'm just getting lucky when I catch them, like yesterday, but it's all part of it. was eyeing this yesterday when we drove by, and I think we're gonna work downstream from here, continue the grind. It's been pretty dead since my first fish right off the bat, which is typical. If you catch one right off the bat, you're probably not gonna catch one for a while, so. Well, starting to get dark. I'm gonna have to accept defeat here soon. Today's a lot harder than I thought it would be. Yesterday, that fish right off the bat just seems like an anomaly at this point. Really having to work for it now. Now it really feels like steelheading. It almost feels like I didn't even catch that fish because I'm really just getting my ass kicked. But that's why we like to do this. The most fun fish are the hardest to catch fish. There's no question about that. It was a short and sweet trip chasing steelhead in Idaho. When I landed that fish right off the bat, I knew that it meant that the rest of the trip was going to be a grind. I also knew that quitting while I was ahead was not an option. I wanted to learn more about steelhead fishing, and there's no better way to learn than simply put in your time on the water. I savor the days when I feel like a beginner and there's a whole new world of fishing to learn about.